Hello everybody, what is up? It is Epically Epic 5 here. How are you all doing? Today I am playing Sid Meier's Civilization 5. And uh, I got some lovely DLC here, as you can see. Looks like Gods and Kings is the highlight. Shout out to that one. <laughs> uh, what's this mean? No, oh, I don't want it to say. Okay. Mods. We don't have any mods running. Or, I don't have any mods running. Excuse me. Uh, but we're going to be playing a single-player solo game on normal difficulty. I've been playing this game an awful lot lately, and uh, I think it's really fun. Very long games, but very um, eventful games. It's not just like, oh my god. I mean, you know, there is some downtime, but definitely amazing. Okay. It's epic of the Epic Empire. Epic, 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 epic. It's great. We're gonna cancel. Um, there are so many leaders. I wanna see who we can pick from here. Hmm. Man. All right. Viking Fury. Whoa. Seven cities of gold. That's pretty cool. Montezuma, Aztecs, Babylon, Japan, the Maya. Hmm. Long count. Uh, Siam, I don't know. This looks interesting, though. Might play as them. Rankhap, Ramkhamnik, Ramkhamnik. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm making a fool of myself saying that. We got good old America manifest destiny. Man, oh man. We're gonna go with this. I think this is interesting. Got an elephant. Oh man. That's cool. Probably gonna do that. And we're just gonna have this be a duel. This isn't gonna be like six players free for all death. It's just gonna be pretty well balanced. Um, let's look for some additional maps. A large region that is all tundra and well forested. Completely covered in forest. Look at that. Four corners, frontier, how about Great Plains? I play Ice Age a lot, that's fun, but we're not going to probably do that one. Um, oval shape Pangeo. Rainforest, ring, shuffle, jeez, um, so much to pick from, guys. What are we gonna do? I'm scared. Oh, we could do all of Earth. Good lord. Uh, small continent skirmish. A balanced map designed for two players. Well, I'll be, man. Let me tell you. Doing it. And. What did I say? Normal? Print. Okay. This will be interesting because I've never uh, played on prints. I don't normally play on higher difficulties. Um, but we'll see. This should be interesting. Uh, we'll have them be random. Yeah. Uh, so much stuff. Whoa, what? 
Oh, that's cool. Dominant terrain. Hmm. Man, it's like I'm getting an ice cream. A lush forest sprinkled with grasslands. Delicious. We're gonna go with grasslands. Water setting. Hmm. We're gonna do rivers. That'll be cool. Resources balanced. Nice. Raging Barbarians. Alright. Let's do it. Random personalities. Um. Allow policy saving. Man, most of these options are like super crazy. One city jail. Yeah, right. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I think four city states is fair enough. Um, sounds fantastic. All right, guys, you ready for this? I'm ready for this. I was born for this moment. Can you feel the moment? Okay, we're we're just gonna start. Lovely lady singing in the background. Greetings to you, great King Rom Kong Hang, leader of the glorious side. Rom Kong Hang. Oh, mighty king, you That's how you say bow it. down before you in awe and fear. You are the ruler of Siam, an ancient country in the heart of Southeast Asia. Siam is a beautiful and mysterious land. Surrounded by foes, beset by bloody war and grinding poverty, the clever and loyal Siamese people have endured and triumphed. King Rom Kong Hang. Your empire was once part of the Khmer Empire until the 13th century AD when your ancestors revolted, forming a small Sukhothai kingdom. Through successful battle and cunning diplomacy, the tiny kingdom grew into a mighty empire, an empire which would dominate Southeast Asia for more than a century. Oh, wise and puissant King Rom Komhang, your people need you to once again lead them to greatness. Can you use your wits and strength of arms to protect your people and defeat your foes? Can you build a civilization that will stand, stand the, the test, test of time? time? Absolutely. You don't even have to ask me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is so cool. I totally want to make elephant people. Or whatever. Elephant. What is this? What's going on here? A little concerned with these strange boxes floating into gray nothingness. Okay, we're just... Okay, we're gonna ignore that that never happened. Uh, yes? Okay. That's kind of distracting, but we can go on. And power through it. Oh. I want to get on over there, to the lovely ancient ruins of mystery. Or something. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, um... Yeah, we'll just go with pottery. It's normally the first, uh... thing I go for, or technology, I mean. Boom. Thou shalt hey, that's cool. Forgot this is like a tiny map. The limit. I go through turns in the beginning so quickly. Ooh, oh, Vatican City. Oh, man. Going over to shake their hands that are t clasped together. Yep. Hello, Vatican City. Oh, thank you. 
spices. Alright then. We're gonna build another warrior. And we're gonna do something. What? I have no clue. We're just yeah, we'll do archery. We will do archery. That's old faithful. <laughs> Look at that. Right smack in the middle of freaking nowhere. Silly. Alright, I normally always pick religious settlements for a Pantanon. 15% faster border growth. So we're just gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with the huge, if you know what I'm saying, on this run for my first game. Oh man. Adopt a policy. Let's do that first. Hmm. Rapid expansion. 15% growth. Oh, I do like this tradition. That's cool. We'll do liberty though. Or not. Or yes, or not, or yes, or not. Uh, we gotta pick something. Whew. The pressure. Border expansion. You know what? We're gonna go with tradition. The Siamese Empire, doggone it. Archery, nice. All right. Stalemate. Oh, man. We're going to go for it. And they did more damage to me than I did to them. Oh, it's on. It is on. Just fortify. Hmm. Provides a free culture building. You can always use that. Slammed. Nice. Okay, we did significantly more damage to them than we did over here. Doggone barbarian brutes. Curse you! Oh, I'm not letting them go that easy. I don't think so. No way. Alright, so I'm going to split this game into parts. We're probably only going to run this for, eh, I don't know, another five minutes or so. Because I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, 15 to 20 minute parts for this. So, I think that's fair enough. You know, not too long to make you want to bash your head against your desk. but Or table, wherever you're sitting. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Just kill the barbarians already. For the love of the Lord. Okay. Masonry. We're gonna do that because we've got this stone here that's just waiting to be built upon. Doggone it. Oh. Oh, I see how it is. One more number ahead, huh? Number one. Unbelievable. 
Alright, I'm fortifying, because they're getting us pretty good. Oh, man. That's not going to work out so well, is it? Oh. Maybe it is. Never mind. Oh, ho, ho. Man. Definitely gonna need an instant heal. We're gonna do it. Let's go. Boom. Nice. Archers are no match. Hmm. Alright, yeah, let's build a shrine. Get that faith up. Construct a mine. Definitely. Oh, man. Alright. Three archer units. We're only gonna kill, like, one unit at a time. So. Oh, boy. Yeah, we could use some growth, for sure. Doggone it. This is unacceptable. Oh well. Bound to happen at some point, I suppose. Alright, fine. I'll build a scout. Jeez. All my advisors are like, Doggone it, make a scout. Jeez. I think some archers will be helpful. Get in some far away combat. Oh yeah. Ah, capital's grown. Great. Lovely. Oh. Man, scouts into archers, let me tell you. That is an improvement. Alright, it's on. It's on. Actually, it's not. <laughs> I'm not close enough. At least we got some gems, we can make some jewelry. <sighs> Have a rocking good time. Oh yeah. Okay. We have a better chance damaging these dudes over here. Cool. Build some walls. Nice. Still can't attack them? Jeez. Fine, we'll do that. Yeah. Archer power. Got a floating barbarian archer over there. Wisdom and burden. Alright, I'm actually going to bring this archer over this way, because we still have quite a few enemies. Choose and research. Hmm. What would be beneficial to us right now? I'm thinking... No oceans near us. We don't really need to construct a plantation. Hmm. Great library. That, that will be very helpful to us. Construct a camp. Remove jungle. Spearmen. Yeah, actually, we're gonna do bronze working. Because warriors actually aren't as strong, I've noticed. 
Especially in this game. Jeez. Alright. Oh, man. You done? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Jeez, that was scaring me. I didn't know how long he was going to talk. That's an interesting opponent. It's pretty cool, actually. I approve. Fine. Trying to be nice and just turn me down. Yeah. Shh. No. Get out of here. Get out. Archers versus archers. Let's go. Bring it down. No match. <laughs> Got plenty of ancient ruins around us, though. Jeez. Boom. Done, son. Oh, man. The arrival of a great prophet. That's cool. Maybe next turn, perhaps? No, oh. Alright then. Oh, look at you. <sighs> Jeez, girl. You get those freaking warriors over there. Zanzibar! Oh. Irrational. That's great. Toodaloo. Ranged attack. Dog on it. Alright, guys. At the end of this turn, I am going to call it for this video. I think it's actually run a little longer than expected but that's okay consider it a treat for the first episode of my civilization playthrough thank you very much guys for tuning in and watching like if you like what you see comment if you have something to say and subscribe for more content in the near future and listening to more of my boring voice <laughs> yep yep this video's fading there it goes so was my voice. Goodbye.